Oh yeah, hello there everybody, DJ Numa here with, for the first time that I can remember, Dorgard. What's happening? Yeah, we haven't even done a test stream together, this is legitimately <laughs> the first time we've ever been together. So it's good to see you sir, and Same welcome here. everybody to week 9 of Dragon Ball Z League's main season for 2021. Uh, there's a few things that we got to go over today, but before we do that, why don't we do those standings? So down in North Kai, we've got the Bujins leading at five and three, Androids at three and five, Hybrids at three and five, and Budokai down at two and six. Over in East Kai, we have... Kaiju, Earth Defenders, and Namek all tied at five and three with the Grand Tour down at three and five. All right, and over in West Kai, we've got Resurrected Warriors leading the way at eight and zero. They are undefeated, and uh, Rugrats are fighting them today. That's going to be an interesting match. They're sitting in second at five and three. Cinema at three and five. And Royals are down there at two and six. Can still get into the playoffs. It's just going to be hard. Finally, we have the good old South Kai with Cold and Muscle at five and three. And Derp at four and four. And Sentai down at one and seven. Though not technically out of it just yet, depending on how these final weeks go. Yeah. And so that's this is what your standings look like overall. And we've, as I said, we've got a couple of announcements um, with regards to our polls coming up here. Um, so as you guys know, the last week we had voting open to everybody for the All Stars and the Olympic champions. And. Um, why don't we go over those Olympians first here, uh, Dorgard? These guys were the ones that were nominated for their uh, the, being the best melee or the best super opponents. And so, uh, Dor, why don't you list those off? Because here is the results. So, starting off with our top melee contenders, we have O'Reilly, Gogeta, Ultimate Gohan, and Perfect Cell. And over in our super category, so those that are doing it through their Blast 2s, we have Hercule, Scouter Vegeta, Nuova Shenron, and Maju. So an interesting caveat is the way to stop having like the same characters appear multiple times is once they're in one category, they're removed from all other categories, whether it be uh, saying someone could do both super and melee, or if they're all-stars as well. So the ones you see here will only be in this Olympic showdown. And this is a new event this year. This is the first time we're doing it. Uh, it'll be a match to see who got, or basically to see who's the best melee in the league, who's the best spammer in the league. I will say though that these are technically the runoffs of the All-Stars. All-Stars got prior voting since that team tends to be a slightly bigger event. So well, we tend to uh, put that a little higher up yes in terms no. of voting. Yes and no. But it's weird. Yes and no. Because this is... Uh... I would say of equal prestige because who who else could say, hey, you're uh, you're the best spammer in the league, hi Majub, uh, statistically, in the past. But as the voting pro proved, he's only the fourth best or the third best spammer in the league. So we will see. Uh, now a caveat to this is they will only be able to do damage of their type. So the meleeers can only deal damage via melee, whether that be grabs. Uh, punches or ping pongs and the super users can only use it via their super moves so that that'll be a that'll be a fun one yeah you will want to check out and see how this matches go down because this it's a it's gonna be interesting for sure to see you know who ends up on top of each of these because while you can see based on the podiums here who is the top in terms of votes that doesn't always mean they're the top in terms of actually doing what they do though yeah. I think uh, Hercule will want to hold his spot as the champ, prove he really is the super champion. Yeah, and the reason, you know, the reason that he is going into the Olympic Games is because he forewent the all-star matches this year. What a great champion this man is. He, he is he's so, so 
enamored with the people that he is going to the Olympics in the other world, even though he hasn't even died. And now, it's time for the All-Stars. Let's look at those All-Stars. So here are your All-Stars in the order that they were voted for the All-Star match. Dora, read them away. So, starting from the top, we have Late Piccolo at number one, Adult Gohan at number two, Berter at number three, Majin Vegeta, or Majin GG, at four, Second Form Frieza at five, Gohan Boo, or Buhan, at six, Android 13 at seven, and Vegeta at eight, King Cold at nine, and Lord Slug at ten. So uh, a wide variety, good chunk. We have two free agents that have uh, snuck in as well. As well, I think uh, some very new ones. First time seeing a Boo here, Sentai getting in Berter. Two Vegeta still, and uh, I don't know if people were expecting Slug to slide in there at 10. I think Salza was the run aft at number 11 by a very small margin, so it was honestly a very good vote and oh, a yeah. lot of turnout. And we got a very good selection here that will be voted on for the All-Star match. Yeah. So, you know, going into that All-Star match, again, I know the housekeeping's taking a bit long this week, but this is very important information for you guys. Because last year, we had a slight break before our All-Star game. That is not happening this year. This year, the first week of the All-Stars, which is next week, will be the Sweeper Games. Now, this event pits one character of each team's choice in the test of endurance. However, we've made a few changes. Notably, this will not be a 1v5, but a 1v4 to help the matches get along more, a little more quickly than last year. We heard your, we heard your bleh, replies, and uh, you know we took that into account. Now, because it's going down by a character, we wanted to keep a little bit of the difficulty there. So we've given them what I have termed Super Halo, uh, but it's not like Halo. We've given them Ultimate Warrior, which provides a plus one to all stats. And it's an illegal Patara in the main league, but we've given them that, and we've also given them a one bar reduction in health. So it's still gonna be a massive challenge, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And the second week of the All-Stars, as we just discussed, it's going to be the Other World Olympics and the titular All-Star Games. And uh, more info is going to be coming on those next week. But for with now, all just that be said, with all that said, whew. Shall I do match one? I think we're getting into the stream here with match one. We've got the Royals at two and six taking on Cinema at three and five. This is a divisional match. Tor, I, I don't know. I've seen them do a lot of prep. The, the builds this week are great for both of these teams. What do you say we get into it? Also, yeah, who for do sure. you think is going to win? <laughs> Oh, this is a hard one. Whoever wins this kind of pushes their way into being that third spot for playoffs as is right now because Royals can go to three and six, pushing Cinema to three and six, but they'll have the divisional lead, which technically puts them ahead. So yeah, this is a huge match this week and both teams have spent the Zenny to really uh, kind of take that out. Oh, Why yeah. don't we get loading in here that can tell us about our first combatants. Yes, they're on the juice. So tell me who is doing what? So we have, starting for Royals, a Meta Cooler in his patented red costume 2 with Defense Plus 2, Master Blast, Dendays, Serious, Latent Energy with a Power Rage boost. So normally he has Power Rage, they decided to put Serious and Latent, then boost Power Rage on Frieza AI, going up against Basha. Yes, Basha got Ife Bench swapped back in on Defense Plus 2, Dendays, Combo Master, Latent Energy, Quick Fast Tech, and Goku AI. So yeah. This is going to be an interesting one. The two characters known for their melee, even though they run defense plus two. Yeah, no, I, I had a finger blitz run to lead things off after a bit of melee. Cooler already taking almost a bar lead now. And, yeah, uh, Fasha is a, a good character, so we'll have to see if that holds. Yeah, no, she, uh, she was on the valves for years. She is very much. 
a uh, a force to be reckoned with in terms of her build and what she does. She she comes in, she smacks you, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, this she does this combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that evened it up from those two v twos. Now, what do you think of the fact that uh, Cinema had put Posh on the FA bench? And then they brought her back and put Garlic Jr. back out. Do you think that was a smart move for this match? Because it is, uh, you honestly, know, it's going to see if it pays off here soon. Honestly, I think Fosha and Garlic Jr. should have been in the entire season. That's my own personal opinion. Because it's Garlic Sweet for, like, Jr. You, just, you don't throw him out of here. And Fosha is just very consistent. But as, as we've seen, both of those characters have had their ups and downs. Fosha had a tendency to throw out these energy ballets. And that, I think, is why they decided not to uh, leave her in and bench her. So, you know, she spent some time on the bench. She decided that she's not going to take it anymore. She's going to come in and beat the ever-living crap out of Cooler. <laughs> I think it also, uh, based on conversations with the different people in the league, and again, if you'd like to talk to us, you can always join in the Discord via the link below, but... Yeah, just talk about different people. It's there's so many characters doing so many different things on cinema that it's just so hard to like run them with their same builds and everybody's yeah. popped up. I mean, who would have thought second form Frieza would be like their best character? Oh, right? and an attack oh. from Cooler. Bosch is on a little bit of help. Can she force Super Baby to use his ultimate? He she can, or at least his max Ooh. power. And then attack. That was not his ult. That was just a regular B2, nice wild sense to dodge, and yeah, clutch tag. Though, did Meta potentially have two bars? Did he have just enough to be in that range? I, believe I guess we'll have to did. see in a minute. I believe he did. Because he does have so healing. For the most part, yeah. So, I mean, they both have den days. I just didn't see if she did enough before he tagged. And so. second form, Ooh. losing his max power. So, what are their builds? <laughs> Yeah, moving on. Second form, Frieza. I'll go with Baby first. Defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, latent, savior, den days, with the defense plus one boost on Piccolo AI. So defense plus four on Baby, and second form, Frieza, is on defense plus three, attack minus one, den days, launches, savior, Broly strength on Piccolo. So funny enough, very similar builds, just uh, you could say more defense on Baby, though mm -hmm. I may... I do not... You can't quote me on this, but... Second form Frieza may have a natural, like, slight defense boost. I, I do not recall. I don't though. believe he does. I think that's third form. It's either yeah, that third form third. has the natural attack boost. One of those. Either way, that's uh, still a very even fight. I mean, Fasha. Uh, 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 um, Royals? Wait. Yeah, that's a team here. Yeah, no, no. Is that. Is that is that what we're looking at with Frieza? Yes. Okay. Ro no. Frieza's on Cinema. That's Cinema. Baby? Yeah, so it's confusing here because we have a free agent versus a loan, um, a loan trade in yeah. Baby. Okay, so yeah. it, it's a little out there for sure. So there we go. So Ooh, Cinema. Two bars. Yeah, Cinema has is down by a bar right now. Still, technically. But if Fasha can take out another bar and a half of Baby, they'll have a lead. Yeah, it's going to be weird, though. Uh, this is the second Den Days from the side of Royals. Uh, technically, both Den Days users on both teams have been starting off here, so lots of healing starting us off. Oh, and we have, so we've had 18 votes, and the current prediction is 50-50. And a final flash into Fasha. That's actually perfect, even though she didn't do any damage to him. She made him waste the energy, and in comes Frieza again with max power because of that savior. Unfortunately, she he actually healed off her coming in, which is going to make it a little harder for Frieza. Eh, it's about the same because technically Frieza tagged at the same time, and he came back with a little more health. Yeah, Still it's just the baby power. having more with two on Metacooler. It's, it's turning into a bigger and bigger gap, giving Royals mm -hmm. a little bit more of a lead each second. Yeah, but but they do on. have Vegeta and Janemba in the back, which are very scary contenders. Yeah, no, I... Honestly, if I'm uh, Royals right now, I'm confident in that we're, we're, doing, we're doing our job today. They technically have a full character of health, though. Yes. 
between the two two bars. Yes. And they just can't seem to get they can't seem to get baby down past this last every time they get him to almost losing this bar, it gets to like one pixel then he heals back up. Yep, it's that one it's that plus four de to uh to defense this week. Well, we have Gogeta coming in with key plus two, super minus one, and Rush Blast three, Indignation, Serious Latent, with a defense plus one boost on Cell AI. So just trying to help him survive a little longer, and of course he still has all of the offense in his other guitars. Oh yeah. And this is actually great, because look at the amount of damage that Gogeta's doing to Super Baby here. Well, we gotta be a little worried though, because uh, Baby hasn't transformed yet, so there's, if, you know, with that defense plus four, going all the way up to eight would be absolutely terrifying. Oh, Ooh, and he tagged. Oh, time. no. And in comes Majin Vegeta, one of the best characters in the league. And one of our all-stars going up against one of the melee all-stars, uh, or melee Olympians. So Majin Vegeta coming in, super plus two, key minus one, savior, quick fast tech, enemy nation, light body, Kabitos, with an attack plus one boost on Chaozu AI. So he has everything. He can deal damage with anything he does, and it's gonna hurt. Yeah. And look at, oh, Jesus. Look at Gogeta's health right now. Hey, it is a hole that Cinema's got to dig out of. A massive hole. Because they, the they part only is... have Janimba left. Oh, never oh, mind! Nice and a Chamaka immediately! Hit. He was doing Majin's Awakening, so he was stuck in an animation. Yes. So Jane, NBA, coming in. Attack plus two, defense minus one. Eternal life, serious, light body, with a boosted late energy on Ginyu AI. So a combination of the two different builds. Uh, sometimes they run light body, sometimes late. This has both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if Jane can take out Majin Vegeta, they still haven't killed a single member of Royals. I think this will finally take out the first member of Royals. Yes, and it does. And in comes Slug with an immediate darkness eye beam. Great move by Slug. And I, oh, this yeah, this is, is another all-star performance. Member. Lord Slug coming in P plus one, Fighting Spear, Indignation, Eternal Life with a super plus one boost on TNAI. So the tried and true Eternal Life build that has made Slug into the all-star that we now have. Yes. Uh, Which hilariously is something that I never thought we would be saying. Just we've memed about how uh, last season it was Garlic Sweep Alex Jr. And he, he had students in uh, good old you know, base cooler and slug, and slug decided he will be the master. The <laughs> now I of two. am the master. He took out, he took out garlic, and now we only have two big sweeping users in the league this season. Oh yeah, that at least until we get Jero back with Bionic Punisher, right? Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and. Janimba is honestly doing a very good job. If Janimba can play the tag game with Gogeta, you know, take out a bar and a half. Look at that charge right from Slug. Ooh, that's going to hit. The uh, protection from X power isn't going to hold up. Nope. And Janimba going to max. Not going to get there because of Slug. Good dodging and counter. Ooh, that unblockable uh, charge key attack did 2k. It's a ridiculously uh, hard to deal with with all yep. that attack boost. And Janim is back at four bars. Can use all of his uh, the supers, the but dudes, he, yeah. really need, he really needs to tag right now. Get out of there, Janim. Ooh, nice dodge by floating down gently. And a sweep the leg that's going to hit nothing. And slug tags. That's not what you want to see if you're on cinema right now. Going into a clash. This might decide a... Uh, Janimba's fate. If Jane can tag, like we said, the tag game, Jane is doing an immense amount of damage. Like, just look at this combo. Just another bar off another character. Just Light get out of there. Shower, Rain. Ooh. Oh, that's going to hit. Oh, what? It can't. I love it. Well, I love it. How it's does the best. that work? <laughs> it's a shield against the boars. So now we that know Rain was amazing. Not... They were both raining. And, uh, you know, just rain can't And attack! Oh, That's go. what needed to happen! An instant transmission! Oh, with the transformation, oh. that's gonna be a problem. Especially with I the think, plus uh, four defense. 
I think Gogeta was trying to do like super explosive wave or something. That's where that jump back was. But couldn't quite get it off. Oh, and Cinema losing another clash. Oh, not the big bang Kamehameha. It's not there. But if if Super Baby goes down and Cinema continues this tag game, oh no! No, don't charge. Ooh, ooh. and that'll take him out. Well, Jane, it is actually not horribly out of reason. You have whatever this HP is left. Yep, there we go. The one bar of slug and two bars of meta still. Oh. Oh. Well then. Numa, your mic has turned into uber quiet. Oh no. But yeah. A am I back? Oh, there you go. Am Welcome I back? back. Okay. You are back. The mic was running away. You had to catch back up. That finger I did. beam was... It it, it, it left with Janimba. <laughs> unfortunate that a uh, light shower just doesn't seem to beat too many other B2s. And uh, unfortunately for Cinema, that will knock them down to... They are tied now with Royals, which, as said before, Divisionals, when it comes to a tie, means mm -hmm. they're actually now last place. So yeah. good job to Royals getting back into their playoff hope. And unfortunately for Cinema, this is a little bit harder of a train yeah and and honestly it was a good match good claw back from janimba and gogeta there but the the first two characters going down so quickly is what did it him did him in but with that said we are on to our next match we have the three and five androids going up against the hapless one and seven sentai squad sentai in order to turn this season around needs to beat the androids this week i and honestly, they could do it with what they've got in right now. Yeah, it'll be a little hard. Their all-star is out training, getting ready for the all-star matches. So he will be off for a little bit. But the rest of their squad will be stepping up to put in the work. We have starting off for the androids. Android 16 with attack plus 2, defense minus 1, power of rage, Sirius, light body, master throw, lane energy on Trunks AI. So what he's been running with for the last few weeks now, up against Joyce on super plus one launches writing fighting spirit fighting spirit indignation light body natural AI. so the build that he used to take do like 60k to bujins uh, not too long ago so we'll see if he's able to keep doing that 16 is going to be a tough opponent though all right cool Ooh, crusher ball and nice 8.6k yeah no and jace has a current one bar lead over 16 you just cannot let 16 start his melee jace is not letting him do that this but is where it's hard the underground the underwater yep. underground charging underwater charging is going to be an issue potentially now luckily jace has a two bar b2 so he only has to get to two but getting there is going to be a little rough but man he's even keeping up melee right now yes he is which is actually very surprising considering oh there's a hell splash and it connects 16 is one of the best meleeers in the league right now. Incorrect. Cell is. He's the one who got voted. I said, Come on, I said, I said We already went over of. I said one of, man. Come on, nah. now. No, it's all over. He's one of the best B2ers. You saw how that B2 hit. <laughs> oh, as yeah, well as damages so course, far. Of course. He obviously should be in the super category. And oh, speaking Jace, of two, two and a half bars in the lead over 16. And 16's down. 16 still on that struggle train uh gonna have to have super 17 come here and help him out with super plus one high tension indignation quick fast tech fighting spirit chats ai same build he's had all season uh and a nice b2 to start off to make this uh you know comeback this is still a two bar deficit and ooh, that doesn't feel good no it does not but i jace putting in good work this is exactly what sentai wants and in comes gohan their mvp right now one of the best characters in the league, as the all-star voting showed. Yeah, and Adult Gohan's coming with Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, and Dende's, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Light Body, Sirius, on TN AI. So, uh, surprisingly for Super Plus 2, no C here. But I think they just realized they he does damage in everything he does. So let's just give him some of everything, and it is showing off right now. Oh, yeah. And it's shown off for most of the league, actually. Because uh, he is, what is he, over a 50k character? Ooh. Down goes Super 17 immediately, almost. And in yeah. comes Blue Pants 19. 
So, 19's coming in, defense plus 2, power of rage, light body, master throw, late energy, gadget of AI. So yeah, you do have to have that 50k minimum to make it to the all-star voting stage, which he does have. So, been quite solid, seeing why he's uh, such a scary free agent to be picked up. However, this might be his match, because uh, 19 says, I don't care about your key, it's my key. Yeah, but Gohan does have the full power of charge, although high-speed clash will take down a good chunk of health about two-thirds of a bar there. If Gohan can get his full power charges off, then 19... It doesn't matter if 19 steals the key. Wow, uh, that is an early tag. He will have three bars. Um, and I guess I'll read Cell Spell Pop 2 now. Okay, go tag ahead. Tagless one. Turn of life. Serious Savior. Bullies ring. Cell AI. The tried and true. The one he's always used. Um, and he is one of our Olympian coming in to try to... Oh... Nice. <laughs> and a nice transformation from out. Gohan. Into the full power charge and into the full fire energy wave. Nice or 1k. Volley, volley. Yep, nice 1k. Good combo to end in 1k. It's what I like. Yep. And uh, our poll has ended out of the votes that we got. About 53% of you think Sentai Squad's got this, which after Gohan's damage to, like today... I agree with. Like, look at him I go. I mean, let's start with what Jace did. Jace took out basically all of 16 and did a bar and tagged. So mm -hmm. he's still alive. He's still back there. We've yeah. only seen two of Sentai's characters, and we're down to the last two of uh, Androids. Yeah, Androids having a little bit of a free fall this season. And in comes Saiyan Woman. Yeah, say a woman come in, defense plus two, Dende's quick fast tech, late energy, serious Goku AI. So they drop the clash, boost that she's been running to give her a bunch more stats. And uh, it's a nice combo to start it off. Oh yeah. And I know it's it's like kind of speechless. Nobody on Sentai's gone down. This is the Sentai people were hoping to see all season. It's uh it's unfortunate they're only coming up here against Cell nine weeks in. Because uh, a couple other performances, and this doesn't even have their all-star 50k average character in it either, which is yep. kind of crazy. But it shows that they're they're a solid team through and through. Yeah. So uh, charging underwater is maybe and not too. Oh, ooh, oh a thank God. good justice rush, perfect timing from Saya Woman. Holy cow! It sells down to a bar. Now. For the tag game, he also has Eternal Life and Save here, and obviously 19's basically at full health. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice after image. If he tags now, he'll have two bars as well, which would mm -hmm. be good. And honestly, Cell is almost taking out all the Sablemen in like a blink of an eye. Yeah, I mean, she's not the strongest character in the league, but she is consistently good against Cell, in, in my experience with her at least. Yeah, and she was an all-star last season, so she does have those, you know, that ability. Man, these uh, aftermatch strikes are, like, happening at the weirdest times. And she's <laughs> putting her out of grab range, even though she's doing the stun attack. It just out of grab range, too, which is hilarious. Well, this is not what you want. No matter who you are, Cell behind you is. feels real bad. This combo might end it. No, it doesn't. He stopped. And now whoever wins this high-speed clash gets it, and say a woman does. So in comes 19 against the entirety, minus, like, one character. We haven't seen Ginyu yet, and we still have one bar on Adol Gohan, and I think two bars on Jace. So Adol Gohan back in now. Yep. Nice B2. And transforming again, he's Super Saiyan 2 now. This is the, this is a scary form, but Super Saiyan is the one with uh, Bros Kamameha, so this one's just Super Kamameha. Yeah, which... Honestly, he can quick fire. He's at full power. We'll see what happens here. And there's the Super Command Maya. I think he just flew over a ridge, though. Yeah, yeah he he's did. just ignored it. Would have been you awesome see, if he just T posed absorbed that. Everything like, I said. Everything I said just thrown out the window right there. Yeah, and 19 going to have a very hard time, though not an impossible time, albeit. Being the only character in his squad today with no healing is uh, oh, gonna feel bad. And we will get to see Ginyu. By Ginyu stats. Uh, so Ginyu, this is a fun build. Defense plus three, attack minus one, eternal life, latent energy on Goku AI. So 
Uh, he's been on a few different things, usually with the Eternal Life, but this time they're going all in on that defense. And unfortunately, we won't really get to have a good metric on if this is the way, uh, because there's not a lot of health on Android 19 unless he ults to get health back. Mm -hmm. And right now, it doesn't look like Ginyu's going to even give him a chance to get it. Looks like Ginyu's getting his 15k and closing out this match. He does have Power of Rage. He won't win that. Now, so far, we'll get cancelled. Is that What's Was that? that a selfish tag from Gohan? Uh, I think it's arguable. I don't know if he really needed to. The sad part is that he, I, Jace was still in the back, so he could have tagged to not get you. Yep. All right, and with that, folks, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I have been DJ Numa. I've been Dorgard. And we will see you next time. However, before we go, this is very important. I need you all to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends, your family, your relatives, everybody you know about us. Join our Discord. Join the team. We'd love to have you. And we will see you next time. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.